Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with part three of our Omno Guide, where we work on unlocking all of the achievements within this game and earning a bunch of Microsoft Rewards points along the way. Now, parts one and two will be linked in the description if you have not watched those yet, so you can catch up with us and grab the first five achievements in the game. We're going to be grabbing three more achievements in the game today as part of the weekly reward set. So, the first thing that you can do is, as we go along, you'll be earning an achievement in Game Pass, so you'll be able to unlock the 10-point quest if you haven't already. And then if we take a look in the Microsoft Rewards app, we have got a few things going on here. We've got the Xbox Weekly Treasure that's available. We've got Achieve More, Earn More. So make sure you click on the Weekly Treasure and grab those free 100 points. We'll be grabbing the Achieve More, Earn More along the way. In the Rewards Weekly set, we've got the Battlefield 2042 link at the top, which very strangely for me actually took me to Elder Scrolls, so I'm not sure what's going on there. They might need to double check that link. But anyway, that will go ahead and get that first green check mark. The second part is to earn three achievements. We're going to be doing that in Omno. And the third part is to run some Bing searches on three separate days. So you'll need to do that to finish out this punch card. But let's go ahead and work on earning the three achievements in Omno and we'll go ahead and get that game started up and pick up where we left off. Just doing a quick achievement tracker check, we should be at five out of the 21 achievements so far. So we've got 180 gamer score, and the very last achievement that we unlocked was Plateau Master for completing the Agnia Plateau. So we'll be grabbing the next three today, and the first one is for riding another legendary animal. So we'll do that. So let's just continue from where we left off last time. And I'm actually going to show one of the glyphs that we missed last time. We're actually going to back up just a little bit and go grab one just so that we have 100% of the glyphs in the game, although this isn't really crucial to getting an achievement. But all we're going to do is reverse and sort of head back to this very first gap that we jumped across where we used our dash at the beginning of the last level. And there's actually a pedestal that's right here, or an obelisk if you want to call it that and you'll just press X to grab this glyph. And once we've got that, we can just head back to that checkpoint spot. We should have all of the glyphs and all of the creatures up to this point. So the I am leaving would be the last one on your list of glyphs there. You can always press B to look at that menu and see what you have in your collection. So I'm just gonna dash back over to where the checkpoint is and we're gonna finish up this level and get to that first legendary creature. So let's just walk around this platform and there is some tricky jumping coming up and what we're going to do is try our best to get across this without too much difficulty. So let's move this block backwards a couple of times. And then we're going to move it over to the right once because we're going to need to jump on this in just a second. Now if you do have trouble with any of these jumps, you know, feel free to just pause the video until you catch up with me, I definitely miss these jumps a few times, so if you see some cuts in the video, then that's what's going on. So just press X, move that over to the right, move that switch over to the right, and then we'll be able to jump off of this little lift here. And we're going to do a jump dash as we're coming off. And remember that you can always hold the A button down to get a higher jump. So if you're having trouble, right here you want to do an, a sort of a hold A before you do your dash. And that'll get you more of the height that you need to get up onto that platform. So if you're having trouble, just make sure you're doing sort of a long press on the A button before you do your dash. Now this one, you'll actually want to do a short jump, just like a regular A tap, and then dash. And then moving over to the right here, this is just a regular jump with a dash. We'll press X to activate this moving platform across the way. And then shout out to Evan Gross who reminded me that you can fall and then dash to keep yourself from taking a hard hit when you hit the ground and just kind of flopping on your face. So thanks for that tip, Evan. So we'll press X on this switch and move it back over to the left this time so that we can get up to this new moving platform. So we're gonna do another jump dash off of this lift. Wait till this moving platform is low and then do a jump dash. And then when it's high, do another jump dash. So we hit that checkpoint and we'll press X to get some more platforms up for ourselves. So we'll just do some little jumps here. If 
for these first few platforms. And then we'll need to do a jump dash right here to get across. Head to the left with just regular little jumps. And then a jump dash. And then one little jump. And then a jump dash, and this should be our last one for this level. I just kind of like to line myself up sometimes and make sure I'm, I'm lined up properly for the jumps coming up. So feel free to make any little adjustments that you need. And here's that second legendary creature that I was talking about. I wish they had these at the end of absolutely every level, because each time we ride one of these, we get an achievement. So, so that's nice. But unfortunately, they're not at the end of absolutely every area. Anyway, so all we need to do for this one is move up to it and jump onto it. You should be at 10 out of 14 creatures so far. That'll be your 10th. All right, so this one will take us on into the next area. And it'll take just a minute for it to get over there. So we'll have to press X to get off of the creature, and as soon as you jump down, you should get your first of three achievements there for riding the second legendary animal. All right, so we'll just keep moving on. And there's a glyph coming up to the right, so we'll go ahead and activate that by pressing X. So there's the teaching glyph. And we'll just continue on until we get the overview of this new area. That checkpoint should automatically update for you. So here we are at the Malaha Plain. And you can see just up ahead is where the meditation area is. So we'll start heading in that direction. And you can press X to grab a little bit of energy. We'll, of course, need to collect energy like we always do in this area to unlock one of the orbs. So we'll do that as we're going along here. Press X to meditate, and Omno will get a good mental map of the area. And again, if you ever need to use your map, if you get lost and can't find where one of the orbs is, then you can just press Y to bring up the map, and then press Y to put it away again. All right, so from here, we're going to start heading over to the left. There are some mushrooms that we need to climb up on over in this direction. And there's an orb over here that we can grab. And you should see a few of these little sort of bunny looking creatures in this area. So you can kind of chase them around a little bit and get some energy from them if you like. And then we're going to do some jumps to get up onto these mushrooms and we'll work our way around to the orb that we're trying to grab. So we're gonna do a jump dash here to get across and then one more jump dash to grab onto that ledge and get our first orb. So we'll grab a little bit more energy along the way. If you see any creatures running around, you can grab energy from them or any of those plants. Kind of looks like a cactus or something. You can grab some energy from that as well. And apparently if you corner these bunnies, you can get a ton of energy from them. So I just did that and <laughs> grabbed a bunch from them. That worked out pretty well. So here's our first book for this level. So we'll press X to collect that. These also count as glyphs. So you'll see those, those text messages, those messages from the textbooks in your glyph section as well. So 
just keep collecting energy along the way. Once you get enough, you'll actually be able to activate this obelisk right here. So I had collected enough, so I'll go ahead and press X to activate this obelisk and get the second orb. If you don't have enough when you get right here, just kind of go down into that little area up ahead and sort of backtrack and, and come back and grab the obelisk. Here's another creature over here, so we'll make sure we add that to our journal entries. And you can press X on top of it and it'll kind of spin you around, but then it'll give you some energy. So make sure you get that creature. Here's another new creature, so we'll add this one. And this one flips us up into the air, which actually we need their help to collect this orb right here. So it took me a couple of tries, but I found one that was pretty close to the tower, so I thought that would be a little bit easier to try for. I still missed it right there, but you can just keep trying. They'll keep flipping, flipping you up there even after you've collected the energy from them. So you can do some jump dashes and grab that orb. So we've got three already, so technically we could go ahead and finish this level, but as you know, we need to get 100% on every level in order to get all the achievements. So we're going to keep moving around and collecting some more stuff from this level. So there's another orb underneath this creature that's laying down. So let's press X next to this creature and that will wake him up and get him off of the egg slash orb. I guess this is sort of seems like maybe it was keeping an egg warm. But anyway, we need the orb, so we'll go ahead and grab it. I don't think that would have had any of his offspring inside of it anyway, so I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. They made it seem like an egg, though. Keep heading in this direction, and we'll grab the next book. And whenever you see that little flying cat creature, that's that's a good sign. You know, you're kind of going in the right direction. You're in the right area. All right, we need to do some jumps over to the right side of that area to get across to the next puzzle section. And we'll just head up this natural stairway. Head over to the highlighted rock and we'll press X to activate the puzzle. And you'll see there are two towers here. There's a medium sized tower and a tall tower. So we're gonna move the medium sized tower away from the wall first. So we're just gonna hit it across, I believe three times. And then we're gonna move it over to the right. And you'll have to hit it twice to get it into position. So now we're gonna move the tall tower. So let's head over to it and put it in a similar position. So we're gonna hit it twice using the X button and then start hitting it over to the right, I think three times to get it into its final position. All right, and then we can kind of wrap around and we need to jump off of this and grab onto the medium sized tower we're gonna do a jump dash to get across. And we're gonna do a jump dash right here. And then a regular jump and a jump dash to finally get to the orb. Again, just pause the video if you missed any of those jumps and get caught up with me. And once you've got the orb, then we will continue on. We'll press X here to activate a moving platform. And I missed the immediate access to it, so I'll just wait for it to come back across and then I'll be able to ride that over to the final area that we need to get to. We've just got a couple more things to grab before we can finish up this section and get the 100% for this area. So you can see there's one orb just to my left here. And we've got a book off in this direction, so we'll press X to collect the book. And then keep going up the hill here and then kind of wrap back around. Get to the highest point that you can and that'll make it to where we can jump across to this grassy area. Jump across to the next grassy area and then we can do a jump dash to get over to that orb that we saw. So now we are finally at the Plains Master. We've got 100% completed in this area. So we'll go over and grab that checkpoint, and now we just need to move through the finishing puzzle for this area. So in this finishing puzzle, we have two lights that we can use, so we're going to kind of move them around systematically. So grab this first one, pressing X, 
and we're going to move it to this position and drop it off. And that activates this switch. So we're going to press X to turn our staff into a switch, move it to the left to bring up the next platform. And then there is a light already down here that we can use, but we want to use the switch first. Press X and move the switch to the right. And that'll take that platform across the way down. And we're going to go back and take this light and we're going to put it on that platform that we lowered down just a second ago. I think you can probably see the direction we're heading in. We just have to keep swapping these around. So let's head back up and we need to raise that platform that we lowered just a second ago. So we're actually going to head up the steps here and go back over and use this switch one more time and then we're going to move it to the left to raise up this platform all the way. And at this point we don't need this light to be here anymore. Let's take it with us. And we're going to put it back from where in the spot where we originally grabbed it. And that'll activate this jump so we can jump dash across and then do one more jump dash. And then we can take the final ball of light and move it into this final position. And that'll give us the pathway that we need to get to the end of this section. So we're at 100%, so that's great. If you want to check your inventory, it should be at 13 out of 41 creatures. And the very last glyph that we got was the light lives in every animal. So if we've got all those, we're ready to head on. Unfortunately, this section does not have a legendary creature. I really wish they'd added more of those in so we could get more legendary creature achievements. But unfortunately, Omno does the little sort of leaves blowing in the wind or feathers blowing in the wind thing at this point to move on to the next area. So we'll just wait for him to reappear over there and we will work on grabbing our next achievement there. All right, so as we move into this snowy, icy area, we've got one glyph that we can pick up. So we'll head over here and press X next to this pedestal and collect that first glyph. And then we've got a new ability that we're about to learn. So let's press X here next to the box and see what sort of a present they've got in store for us. So surf. So now if you hold down the left trigger, you can surf, or as I like to call it, snowboard. <laughs> It doesn't really seem like surfing to me since we're not on moving water, we're on snow. So I'm going to be calling it snowboarding, but feel free to call it surf if you like. So we're just going to snowboard down this way. Keep holding down the left trigger and you will keep snowboarding. And there are no collectibles along the way. This is just kind of a picturesque, fun snowboarding section of the game, basically. So you'll see the little flying cat zooming back and forth, and you'll see some other creatures flying overhead as you make your way along. And you can go across some different jumps, go off some different jumps that are along the way if you like. If you want to just spend a little more time doing the snowboarding, I opted to go for a couple of the jumps here. So this one's pretty obvious. And you can press A to actually jump and get some height when you're coming off of one of the jumps if you like. That one's a little trickier to do with the turn on it. And then there's one coming up where you can kind of go on a hill off to the right. So I went on that and just kind of jumped off the cliff. You could take a more direct path. I just was kind of, kind of having a little bit of fun with the, the snowboarding here. I do like snowboarding games. 
Steep is the most recent one that I've played. I need to invest some more time in that one. Looks pretty cool. They also have like wingsuits and different things in that one. But I digress. So we are f almost finished with the snowboarding section here. And then we will start doing some more collection in the next area. So we get a little bit of a slow-mo jump as Omno comes off of that ledge and we'll get our intro to the area just here. So this one's called the Sagia Valley. And we are going to start by moving forward and kind of heading to the right. You can snowboard over there if you like. We've got some new creatures here, so just press X to start collecting energy. Of course, we're going to need to collect energy in this area to activate one of the orbs. We're going to go ahead and activate this platform, and a couple of side platforms come up. We'll be back to that in just a second. Let's move on forward and activate the Meditation Stone. So just press X as usual to do that, and Omno will get his mental map going. And then we're going to head back to that platform that we just set up just a second ago. So I kind of like this level because you can actually surf in between the different areas if you want to. Or snowboard. I said I was going to call it snowboarding, didn't I? I'm breaking my own rule already. All right, so just some simple jumps here. And if they're high, you might want to, you may want to do the hold down the A button. And then we'll do a jump dash there. These are just some easy jumps right here. And there's our flying cat friend. Now, there's a new creature in this area, so you want to make sure you collect the Snill Pies journal entry there. And they also have a good amount of energy, so if you see those on the ground, press X next to them to collect that. And let's start jumping up back into this back area here where it's snowy. And then we're going to loop back around. And a couple of tricky jumps here. You'll just want to do a regular jump there, and then a jump dash, actually two jump dashes right here, to get across to where the book is. So we'll press X to collect that and add that to our journal. And then another way to keep from getting hurt when you fall down is you can snowboard down. So you can just hold down the left trigger before you go off of a jump and you will land softly pretty much every time. So just collecting a little bit more energy and here's our first orb of the area. We're gonna have five orbs in this area to collect and a few different books. We got one already. And I saw a couple more of the Snill Pies here, so I'm grabbing some more energy from them. There's another big creature over here. I was always worried about these creatures that they might, you know, actually start attacking, but none of them have seemed to do that so far. So we'll collect that one and add that to our journal entries. And you can also press X to collect energy from them as well. Head kind of back and to the right. And we're going to start to go up this hillside at the back. And it's a little bit slower to snowboard uphill, so you may want to just walk it when you start actually going uphill. If you've collected enough energy, then you can go ahead and grab this orb from the obelisk. Just press X to drop off your energy and collect that second orb. So that's two out of five. Let's keep working our way up the hill and go to the left. And there's our flying cat friend. I don't know if he's actually supposed to be a cat, but I'm going to call him a cat anyway. That's what he reminds me of. Okay, now on this puzzle, you basically just want to kind of alternate, go back and forth. So don't go to the one right next to you if you can help it. You want to just kind of zigzag back and forth across the puzzle. So you're just doing your jump dashes to zigzag. And then when you've only got one left, then you can hop onto that one. And that will finish up the puzzle and bring the little platform up that we need to get to the orb. So now we can work our way up there. 
have to do a jump dash here. Just a few regular jumps. And then a jump dash over to the right. And then another jump dash, and we'll grab that third orb. So that will open up the final area for us, but we're going to go grab the other two orbs before we finish this section. So if you want to, you can surf off the edge here and keep yourself from falling flat on your face, which I like to do <laughs> now that I know a couple of ways, including the dash that uh, Evan mentioned. All right, we're gonna move over to these stones here and there is one stone that we can activate. Now this is timed right here and actually you'll see that I miss it my first time through, but I'll show you what you have to do. So you hop up these little ledges and sort of head over to the left and then you have to do a couple of quick jump dashes. So if you don't do it in time, just press X down here one more time and try it again. And you can hear the kind of ticking. If you turn up the volume, you can hear some kind of ticking in the background that lets you know that it is a timed puzzle. Anyway, there is the fourth orb and we've just got one left to get. There is a book up on top of that platform. So we're gonna need to work our way up there. So let's head up these snowy ledges and we'll start working our way toward the book. So do a jump dash here to get across and then X to collect the book. And we are very close to finishing this section. So just a couple more things to collect. We've missed one orb kind of in the center of this area. So let's head over in that direction. It's off by those big brown creatures in the middle. So I'll show you where that one is. And we have to do just a little bit of platforming on these rocks in the center here to grab this orb. And again, your cat friend will show you the way. You can see him standing on that, that platform out there. So we need to jump dash to that one. And then we'll jump dash to this snowy platform over here. And we should be able to easily work our way up to the orb now. And this is the fifth and final orb for this area, for the Sagia Valley. And we've got a, another animal to collect and another glyph to grab. So let's start heading over in this direction. And you should see some of these bunny animals over in this area, so keep an eye out for them. And when you find them, they'll get added to your journal, and that'll be the last uh, creature that we need in this section. And then there's a book right on top of this platform, so we're just gonna jump onto the smaller rock platforms and work our way over there. A couple of jump dashes here to collect that book. So we'll press X to collect that last one, and that will grab our third achievement for us since we've got 100% on the Sagi Valley. And I'm just gonna go ahead and head over to where the checkpoint marker is here so that we'll be all set up for the final puzzle next time when we start back in part four of Omno. So again, we don't really have to do any sort of saving at this point. If you want to check, you can press B, you should be at 17 out of 41 creatures, and the very last glyph that we got was the one that starts with the staff bearers searched. So that's it. So we don't need to save or anything, we're pretty much done, and we will just pick back up here in part four. So at this point, we can switch over to the Game Pass app, and we'll start turning in the quest that we unlocked. So we should have the 10 point Game Pass quest for earning an achievement. So we'll turn that in, grab those 10. And then if we switch over to the Microsoft Rewards app, then like I said, don't forget to click on the Xbox Weekly Treasure, grab those 100 rewards points, click on Achieve More, Earn More, grab those 50. And then the Rewards Weekly Set, we can click on that and go down to Achievement Hunter, click on that since we earned our three achievements and we should get that second green check mark. The third part is just to run some more Bing searches on a couple more days, and that will finish up this Rewards Weekly Set punch card. 
So that's going to be it for part three of our Omno series. We'll be back next week or possibly in two weeks, depending on how the achievements go with part four. And if you guys are looking for even more ways to earn rewards points, please click on that join button. If you're not already a member of the channel and consider joining and becoming a member, we do post even more achievement guides and more tips and tricks here on the channel for the members of the channel. And thank you to all of you who already are members. You guys really help to keep the channel up and running and help support us with the content that we make. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.